This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 23. Woo! It shuts down the run. It lights out against the pass. It gets interceptions and takeaways all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, thank you. Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using the Pittsburgh Steelers offense in my multi-deep defensive ebook. I'm also going to be using the Dallas Cowboys as I've recently gotten a lot of requests for them. And even though it feels weird using them as an Eagles fan, I'm not going to lie, this team has quickly become one of my favorite teams to use and you'll be seeing a lot of them in future videos. As they have a lot of team speed and my depth chart adjustments reflect that. At running back, I'm going to start Pollard, of course. I put Kevontae Turpin and his 95 speed at wide receiver too. At right defensive end, I put Sam Williams because he has an 89 speed and at left outside line linebacker I put Damon Clark because he also has a 90 speed. Before getting into the video though, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top end comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. I started the first game on offense and I could have easily made this video about my brand new gun tight doubles offense, but I have a lot more videos of me absolutely destroying people with this. So if you guys want to see more from this, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section as this might be the best offense in the game right now on the very first play i read my opponent is in cover zero so i switch over to the shot fade cross which is a play that i just put out in my latest glitch routes video break yourself fool <laughs> want to see more from that video which had several plays from this offense i will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video so stick around for that the defense that i'll be using in today's video is a very well-known defense out of the 3-3 cub as this defense has been meta for most of madden 23 and probably even going back further than that but i realized that i haven't made a video on this defense this year showing how i run it and i run it very differently than everyone else in a lot of ways since the cowboys have very fast outside linebackers i'm not going to switch over from the 33 packed with safeties like most people do because i think that's just a little bit too try hard for regs but i'm going to switch out my middle linebacker with a safety named marquise bell because he is six foot three and has a 93 speed to be my user i don't have time to set up my audible plays right away so i choose the sam will blitz three as this is one of my most used base defenses and it allows me the most versatility out of any of the plays from this formation so as i switch over to the blitz setup which is simply to just blitz my user and hover either guard gap before dropping back into coverage and on the first play he tries an inside zone that gets blown up for a two yard loss. Sit your ass down. My four play audible setup is the outside linebacker blitz one and the mic blitz zero, which are both already in your adjustments. But I changed the last two out from the cover three buzz to the Sam Will blitz three, as it is a completely different style of coverage. And for the last play, I like to use the cover four show two. I use the cover four on the next play, which is another one of my most used defenses, especially against the run. But I also have a very unique setup for pass plays, as I like to man one of the coverage safeties or more to individual receivers. He hikes the ball before I get the full setup in. Thank you. We don't it on my ride, but I drive it in. And just like that, we have a 14 0 lead with less than a minute into the game. I like to use the Mike Blitz Zero a lot too, but I find too many people have a game plan for Man Blitz Zero defenses, so I found a good way to disguise this coverage by choosing the Blitz Linebacker Lurk 1. This cover 1 just guarantees that the middle linebacker starts to play in the middle of the defense instead of being man aligned somewhere else. Then I use the single high safety and move him closer to the line before I switch over to the Mike Blitz Zero, which makes it harder to read as he tries to run again only to lose another yard. He runs again on the next play to get his first positive gain of the game to get back to zero yards in offense. Before we're hitting with multiple crossing routes to get a first down and now he's on fire i also like to switch over from cover one to cover three the same way as a lot of people can't tell the difference between the two defenses since they both have the same single high safety look get over here and on the next play we get another stop for a loss he tries to spread me out on the next play, and once again, I start the play out in cover one man before making the switch to cover three to confuse him right before the play starts. Gotcha, bitch. On the next play on offense, I can tell the difference between cover one and cover three, so I switch over to the bench play, as this is a very easy one-play touchdown setup, and I am already on the right hash mark. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> 
as Turpin gets his second touchdown of the game to put me up 21 zip. In my next gameplay, I get a much better opponent in the Ravens, and we start with the ball again, as this offense also has one of my favorite run plays in the entire game in the halfback base, as this motion will either give me great blocking to the left or open me up for a huge cutback lane to the right, as we get an easy first down. On the next play, I read cover two-man, so I switch over to the Steeler fade shot one more time. Break yourself, fool! and I would have had another one play touchdown, but I ran too far back inside only to get tackled at the two before switching over to the double drag concept to punch it in. My coaching adjustments for this defense are pretty much the same as they always are, as I like to put my zone coverage to match, my curl flash to 15, my flash to five, my strip ball to conservative, option defense to conservative, matchups to buy overall, and ball in the air defense to play receiver. Since all of his receivers are on one side of the field, I decided to use a Mabel concept to flood that half of the field in zone coverages, but he runs the option and somehow still gets a big run despite me setting my option defense up. He runs inside on the next play for the first down before hurrying me up and running again. He runs most of the first drive as he gets a huge run on third down to get inside of field goal range before trying to flip the ball back to Lamar Jackson like he thinks he's Shabbata Mitch or something. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. He finally passes on the next play, and after several straight run plays, he catches me off guard as he connects right over my area for the first down before passing out on the next play to hit Mark Andrews for a wide open touchdown to tie the game. Damn it! Back on offense and back to the Turpin show as we get a huge first down on a crossing route before he gets me into a quick third and ten that I try to pick up with Dak Prescott's legs. How about new? I go for it on fourth down. I thought my much faster running back had a step. <laughs> Back on defense, Lamar Jackson's speed and scrambling ability is going to have to change my game plan as he is just buying too much time in the pocket waiting for these guys to get open. I'm still watching out for run plays though as he ran a lot on the first drive and that threat is helping his receivers get the jump on my user as I have to play the run first. On the next play though, he makes a big mistake as he motions the running back to the line into an empty backfield look, removing that option and allowing me to get into full pass defense mode. So I set up the blitz once again and this time I am all over that drag as every Thing is shut down before he tries to hit Andrews on that exact same route. Got he. Now back on offense, he starts to back off his entire defense in fear of the pass plays. What is that? So every time he does this, I'm just going to switch over to the halfback base setup as I break off a huge run to the outside. He keeps doing it, and I keep getting huge runs as I get another first down. I don't really know why he keeps doing it as it's giving up too much space underneath for the runs, but I run the ball on five straight plays to get inside the red zone while also killing clock to get under a minute before halftime. From here, I decide to pass, and the tight end gets wide open for the score with 27 seconds left. On the next play, he switches over to one of my schemes out of the gun normal Y off close and tries to beat me up the seam in my cover three. Well, I bet you here. He used the wrong setup, but he still had the right idea, so with only 17 seconds left, I decide to switch over to a new defense that I have been experimenting with that takes away the seams out of the quarter normal called the double buzz. And that was a big mistake as he switches over to my escape play setup and scores a one-play touchdown against me with my own play. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. He gets the ball in the second half too and starts to drive by hitting the running back out of the backfield while I'm still setting up my defense. I still get over there, but I'm just a little bit late going for the ball, making me miss the tackle and let him get into scoring range right away before hurrying me up and hitting the same drag route right in front of me once again. He isn't really running the ball anymore, so in the next play, I hard flat for the short routes and set up the blitz to finally get the stop to force a third and eight. On the next play, when I see him motioning out the running back once again, I figure since he has three receivers on that side of the field plus the open side of the field, that he's probably going to pass over there. So I switch back to cover three with the Mabel adjustment. I take away the drag once again, and this time he forces it to the corner route. Gotcha, bitch! And we get another interception in the end zone. Back on offense, I go right back to the halfback base play on the next play, and I'm not joking when I say this might be the best run play in the game, as I take the cutback lane one more time to moonwalk to the end zone for an easy go-ahead score. He comes out an empty backfield look now out of desperation and starts dinking and dunking me with short routes and running hurry up. So now I am making a hundred different adjustments every play before I get him to a third in inches that he easily picks up on a zig route against my man zero blitz. Now inside the red zone he buys time one more time before hitting another receiver underneath only to try to flip it back again. Trust me, you're not that guy. And that's all she wrote, is this defense was light out when the field got small and it mattered most. See ya! So that's it, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's video, I will have links to them popping up on screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Shit out.
Show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.